Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Michael Miller is my name, the official secretary of the Governor of New South Wales on behalf of Her Excellency and her husband, Mr Dennis Wilson. Welcome to Government House the, 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 this afternoon. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, could I invite you to now stand for the arrival of Her Excellency, the Governor. Her Excellency, the Honourable Margaret Beasley, Governor of New South Wales, and Mr Dennis Wilson. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Well, again, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Government House Sydney and welcome to the 2020 Inter New South Wales International Students Award. Um, and to our live stream audience uh, around Australia and on this occasion uh, uh, around the world, we also welcome you to this awards ceremony in which we celebrate the contribution of international students to communities in New South Wales, and also we celebrate excellence in international student community engagement. Uh, Government House Sydney is once again proud to host these Study New South Wales Awards. Um, can I just say that the little history of these awards, these awards have been conducted since 2014, and we've been uh, fortunate here at Government House that Her Excellency's predecessor, um, uh, General the Honourable uh, David Hurley, hosted the 2017 uh, uh, Inter New South Wales International Students Award ceremony as a vice regal event here at Government House. And then last year, uh, Her Excellency uh, also hosted the 2019 New South Wales International Students Awards ceremony. And if you'd like to uh, see who the previous winners were, they are still available on the uh, website, the Study Sydney uh, uh, website, if you'd like to look at those. There are two types of awards uh, are presented. An International Student of the Year Award is presented to four students, one in each of four categories, English uh, Language Intensive Courses for Overseas Students, or ELICOS, a Vocational Education Training, or VT Award, and a higher education uh, award, as well as a, um, a secondary student award. And there is an international community, student community engagement awards presented in two uh, categories, one for the business community category and another for education providers. A little word about Study New South Wales. A Study New South Wales is an initiative of the New South Wales Government established in 2014 to support and grow the international student education sector by attracting students to New South Wales and enhancing the quality of their experience whilst they are here in our state. And the unit represents the international education sector through coordinating policy and advocacy to enhance uh, international student education in New South Wales. And ladies and gentlemen, I now invite Her Excellency the Governor to ad address us. Your Excellency. Bujiri Kamarua, Majingo Babana, Kamaruado, Gadigal. Welcome to Government House Sydney in the language of the Gadigal. Government House stands on Gadigal land and we look out to the unbelievably beautiful and sparkling waters of the Gadigal and we are both fortunate, proud and privileged to, uh, to have this land which is shared with us by the most ancient civilization in the world. And I pay my respects not only to the Gadigal but to all uh, elders of the nations of uh, New South Wales and pay my respects to their elders past, present and emerging. So Jennifer, Jennifer West from the Deputy Secretary of Trade with New South Wales Treasury. Peter, Peter Mackey, Director of Trade, New South Wales Treasury. Nicole Brigg, Nicole, 
Pro Vice Chancellor International, Macquarie University, and distinguished guests, all of you. The official secretary has also already said welcome to study New South Wales uh, to the, and to the New South Wales International Student Awards. And it is wonderful to have you here in Government House. Um, I don't know how many of you have been out and about in recent times, but so many were locked up for so long. And we think it's just wonderful we can have you here. We like to think of Government House as the civic heart of New South Wales. It's a place where you belong uh, as much as it is the place where we work and, and we live and, and we have the important uh, people in our community, which is all of you. One thing that we are very proud about in Australia generally, and in New South Wales in particular, is the richness and diversity of our communities. And that is very much represented by, supported by, international education. And today, we have finalists here from nine countries. Uh, in what, ha what are really the signature annual awards for the New South Wales international student sector? And each of you has not only come here to study, you have contributed so much to our community. And in doing so, you have also shared your culture, your knowledge, and your stories. There's one finalist in the English language intensive courses for overseas students uh, category, and in his the extra things that he did as he was living here to become part of the community, to bring the community around him as part of, part of his own uh, community, he offered something called Kizomba classes to his fellow university students. This all went on prior to the pandemic. Now, I've heard of zombies. I've met a few in my lifetime. I've heard of Zumba, tried it once. But Kizomba, that was a new one. That was an entirely new one. So, to the uninitiated, and according to, who else, Mr. Google, Kizomba is one of the most popular genres of dance and music created in Angola. Derived directly from Zouk music, sung generally in Portuguese, it's a genre of music with a romantic flow mixed with Af African rhythm. And I think, as I understand it, we're going to have a demonstration of that very soon. Is that not right? <laughs> Maybe all out on the grass. It'll, it'll do well out there. But just one example of what you bring to our country. You make it fun. You make it engaging. You make yourselves fun to be with. Um, you make us interested uh, in you, in what you do, in your countries, in your culture and most importantly, in you as individuals. And it's you as individuals uh, who we actually celebrate. 2020 wasn't quite the year we expected it to be. Um, and indeed, if uh, we're out there trying to mark your exams or your essays, I think we'd rank 2020 up there for difficulty. And in New South Wales, of course, we had the terrible droughts. Uh, that had been going on for years and years, and we, the dryness in the country was really beyond imagination. Uh, in right about uh, September, August, September 2019, Dennis and I went out into the country. We were at, um, up in Cobar, which is a country far northwest, and the ground was as flat as the ground you've got there, but it was brown. Normally, it's got grass and crops growing you know, at least knee high. It was just brown to the horizon. And the problem was, if the um, problem was there was no feed for the animals, we had one farmer say to us that it was so dry, um, it looked as though the sheep were too depressed to even stand up. I mean, that's really telling you something about what this country, Australia, sometimes has to deal with in those very, very long periods of drought. And it was that period of the drought which made the land so dry, which made the fires, which when they started, made them so ferocious. 
uh, for those of you who haven't understood bushfires a great deal, 99% of the bushfires uh, last year and nearly always started with um, lightning strikes. It comes from about September, October every year. Uh, it's, it's a, it's a, the, the weather cycle involves a lot of, lot of, lot of lightning and that just hits a tree, the tree goes up and of course it was like tinder and so many of our trees are eucalyptus with the, the oil, oily leaf and that just burns it at a heat of, we were being told, in the order of 1,000 degrees. We were told uh, in one little community where they have water tanks, they have their own water supply, each house, and the water tank was a 500 gallon water, water tank. It was full and it boiled dry. And it was a concrete tank and then it just cracked. So it was no water and then no water tank. And it's Really, when you live in you know, the beautiful city, sort of beside the water, it's sometimes difficult to contemplate what goes on in those communities and what they're confronted with. And as we know, there are some people in this room who went and helped in those situations, but they went and helped in other situations as well. Because what did we have? The, the bushfires were actually put out by flooding rain. It's good to have the rain. You don't always want it quite in that quantity, but someone for forgot to tell the, tell the gods how much we need it. And then we had the pandemic. And again, in a very uncertain and difficult year, people in, in our community, including this room, went out and did things to assist others during the pandemic. So you can understand why it's such an honour, such a privilege, to host the inspiring group of passionate and dedicated young international students in this room. And I know that the tertiary institutions and indeed the communities that you represent are also incredibly proud of your efforts. And when you do finish your studies, you are going to be the ones who go on to become ambassadors for your home countries and communities. You'll always be proud New study New South Wales alumni. You're the future leaders. You're the advocates uh, for those all important people to people, for the trade, the diplomacy, the research, and the cult cultural links that bring world communities together. And today is equally about acknowledging the contribution of the education providers, the businesses, and the community groups that have supported you and other international students. And I applaud the work of our finalists in the New South Wales International Student Community Engagement Awards category. Indeed, as one finalist in this category noted, a student from Sao Paulo in Brazil, we have to pay it forward. To do that, we have to help the students as best we can. All I can say is we are so impressed, so deeply impressed by the contribution of each of our finalists in each of the categories. So congratulations and thank you. You're obviously highly intelligent people because you chose New South Wales in which to study, people who make good judgments already at such an early stage of your careers. But seriously, we really are very, very proud of you. And it's wonderful to have you here. Uh, we really hope you feel that this is your second home and always will be, it may even become your home, your final home at some stage. But you will know, whether it be your second home, your primary home, you already have enriched our community while studying here and you've contributed to its vibrancy, to its richness and to the great diversity of New South Wales. So thank you again. It really is just wonderful to, to be here with you and to have you here. Thank you. So, Your, Your Excellency, Mr. Wilson, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm going to do now is announce the, to draw out the excitement, I'm going to announce each of the finalists who will come out and receive their certificates from Her Excellency the Governor and then build the anticipation by telling you the winner of each category as we, we go. So, Your Excellency, if you would. So, should it please Your Excellency, for the 2020 New South Wales International Student of the Year, the school category, the finalists are 
firstly, Tung Ling Ha from Vietnam, studying at Beverly Hills Girls High School. Tung Ling Ha is a year 12 student at Beverly Hills Girls High School in Sydney. She's originally from Haiphong, in a city in East Vietnam, has been recognised by her teachers, peers and community as a dedicated student who goes above and beyond to give back to her school community. Tung Ling has served the community as a house vice captain and senior executive officer, as well as director of personnel and leader of the wellbeing committee on the student representative council. She has led initiatives such as Be Kind Day and SASI, which is the school's intensive English language program, and given her time and support to several charities. She is admired by her peers and teachers alike, and she has been a, a key player in the school's yearly multicultural day, sharing her experiences, in, her experiences and championing cultural beauty, diversity and cohesion. Tung Ling Ha. <clears throat> Nikki Tran from Vietnam, studying at Sarah Redfern High School. Nikki is a dedicated student at Sarah Redfern High School with outstanding academic achievements. Her tireless dedication to her school community makes her a standout amongst her peers. Nikki continues to make significant contributions to the community, regularly volunteering her time to the school's breakfast club, coordinating the Student Representative Council, and through her role as the secretary for the Interact or Junior Rotary Club. Nikki is also a talented writer who uses her skills to improve the quality of students' lives, writing for Story Factory's Read Aloud program, which partners with Camp Quality's Happiness Hub. Nikki Tran. <laughs> and Angel Wang from China, studying at Pimble's Ladies College. Angel is an international student boarder in year eight at Pimble Ladies College in Sydney. She has a positive role model for her peers and school community with a devoted work ethic and a strong commitment to understand and respect all cultures. At the beginning of 2020, Angel became concerned about the severe shortage of medical supplies in Wuhan and organised thousands of medical grade gloves and protective suits for the local hospital through donations and her own money. In the months following, and as the impact of COVID-19 was felt in Australia, she also created a website to help her community in New South Wales understand the risk of the pandemic. Angel's community uh, recognises her actions as embodying the school's values of care, respect, responsibility, integrity and courage. She continues to demonstrate immense strength in 2020, despite not being able to return home to see her family in China. Angel Wang. And the winner in the secondary schools category is Tung Ling Ha of Beverly Hills Girls High School. Congratulations. Now to the 2020 New South Wales International Student of the Year, the English Language Intensive Courses for Overseas Students category, or ELICOS category. And the finalists are Manuel Lencastre Aron from Zem Mozambique, studying at the University of Newcastle. Manuel is a Master of Disaster Resilience and Sustainable Development student at the University of Newcastle, which he commenced following an ELICOS course. In 2019, Manuel took the initiative to represent his home country, Mozambique, at the annual River Lights Cultural Festival, where he cooked and served traditional food for the community. He has also been instrumental in organising weekly Kazomba lessons for students on campus, which began prior to the start of the COVID-19 pandemic. Manuel is a focused student who gives back to his community and dreams of taking his expertise back to share with his home country. Manuel de Castro, Iran. <laughs> Tasmian Islam from Bangladesh, studying at Macquarie University.
Tristan Moore is studying a Diploma of Information Technology at Macquarie University. Tasna Mool is a role model for his peers and dedicates countless hours as a mentor and peer leader in the Macquarie University Mentors Program. He is Vice President of the University's Business Analytic Analytics Club and Marketing Director of the Macquarie Bangladesh Students Association. He is known for being a highly conscientious student with a passion for raising awareness about mental health amongst international students. He often organises cultural sharing and inclusion programs to help the international students feel at home in the Macquarie University community. Tasmal Islam. <laughs> Zhuang Lang, a Zhang from China, studying at the University of Newcastle. Zhuang is a postgraduate student at the University of Newcastle, completing a PhD in construction management building. Zhuang is a high-spirited and dedicated to the community and passionate about spending her time to help those in need. Zhuang is a multiculturalism champion on campus. She proactively works to bridge academic, professional and cultural gaps between Australia and her homeland, China. She has organised Chinese alumni to share their industry experience with students and continues to facilitate the weekly Lucky Lantern workshops on campus. Zhuang continues to make significant contributions to her local and global communities through her work with the University of Newcastle Students Association, International Students Wing, and the Australia China Youth Association, and the University of Newcastle Students Association. Zhuang Zhang. <laughs> and the winner in the Ellie Koss category is. Zhuan Lang. The 2020 New South Wales International Student of the Year in the Vocational Education and Training category. The finalists are Lydia Maria Andrioli Casero from Brazil, studying at Kirana Colleges, Australia. Lydia Maria is a dedicated student and an active member of the local community in New South Wales. She recently completed a Diploma of Social Media Marketing and has started a Diploma of Community Services at the Kirana Colleges Australia. While in New South Wales, Lydia worked as a coordinator and volunteer for Brazilian aid during the bushfire season and the COVID-19 pandemic, mobilising more than 300 volunteers to work with Blaze Aid, Food Bank, Addison Road and Our Big Kitchen. She is now a volunteer for the Australian Chamber of Commerce, the Embassy of Brazil, and has applied to volunteer with the New South Wales State Emergency Service. She is always doing her best to support the local communities here in New South Wales. Ligia Maria Andriola Casero. <laughs> Nicola Evans from England, studying at the Academy of Entrepreneurs. Nicola, also known as Nikki, is a 2020 international student at the Academy of Entrepreneurs in Sydney. Originally from Manchester in the United Kingdom, Nikki is a qualified mindset coach and mentor and helps her clients to reach their potential. Nikki is a model of integrity, collaboration, positivity for her peers, empowering countless students through her work. She is an active member of the Academy of Entrepreneurs and, and broader community, proactively sharing her expertise to help peers with their business ventures. Seeing the impact COVID-19 was having on students' physical and mental health, Nikki is working hard to ensure students remain connected with their purpose and what brings them happiness. She has recently launched a podcast and a WhatsApp group to help people cope with quarantine, providing an avenue to encourage positive change despite the pandemic. Nikki Evans. Elise Haiwen Lee from South Korea, studying at TAFE, New South Wales. 
Ms. Lees is studying a diploma of beauty therapy at TAFE New South Wales in Ultimo and is recognised by her peers and teachers for her diligent client care, ability to apply herself to her studies and commitment to the wider community. Her volunteer work continues to have a lasting impact on the lives of many in the community. She contributes both her time and expertise at charities, including Dress for Success, to power women to re-enter the workforce by providing clothing and styling advice, the Exodus Foundation, to give back to those experiencing hardship and homelessness, and Randwick Children's Hospital, where she provides pamper treatments for parents and carers of ill, Ill children. Elisa epitomises the community spirit and is a role model amongst her peers. She continues to advocate for vocational education and strengthening education pathways between Australia and her home country. Elise Hywen Lee. And the winner in the vocational education and training category is Elise Hywen Lee. Uh, 2020 New South Wales International Student of the Year in the Higher Education category. And the finalists are Jamie Emerson from the United States of America, studying at the Australian Catholic University. Jamie is originally from Oregon City in the United States and is studying a Bachelor of Information Technology at the Australian Catholic University. She has a passion for personal and corporate social responsibility and is known for her relentless commitment and leadership skills. Jamie is the founder and residence for the UTS Techcelerator Female Founder Mentoring Program, having founded her own charity, Chronic Hope, to help those in the community living with chronic illness and achieve better outcomes, health outcomes and find hope in their situations. Understanding the need for international students to have opportunity to develop their skills for employment outside of university, as part of a charity, Jamie offers volunteer opportunities to international students to help kickstart their careers. Jamie is constantly looking for ways to contribute, share stories, and foster a sense of camaraderie in her community. Jamie Emerson. <laughs> Juliana Poloche from Brazil, studying at the University of Wollongong. Juliana is a PhD candidate at the University of Wollongong, where her enthusiasm and dedication is well known in the community. Her work has had an immediate, positive and immeasurable impact on the community at large. Juliana's compassion has extended to supporting the community during the COVID-19 pandemic. She is part of the Food Plus with Care working group, which supports local international students with food assistance and plays an integral role in linking the group with the wider community. She has also helped provide 200 meals per week for more than five months as part of her role as the Wollongong Area Core Lead for the Shining Star Foundation. Her strong community ties have also allowed her to arrange additional support and donations for the community. Juliana continues to inspire her fellow students and community members through her altruistic and overwhelmingly positive actions. Juliana Poloshi. Ramesh Srestha from Nepal, studying at TAFE, New South Wales. Studying a Bachelor of Early Childhood Education and Care at TAFE, New South Wales, Ramesh has helped and inspired hundreds of students through his work. Ramesh dedicates much of his time to volunteering for causes he believes in. His work tirelessly as the president of Vision for Motivation, a community organisation that works to motivate and assist international students in Australia. Through his role, Ramesh helped support international students in need in the aftermath of COVID-19 through Meals for Mates, a project to provide free grocery packages to more than 2,000 students. 
Ramesh also raised more than $1,000 for the New South Wales Rural Fire Service at a charity night attended by international students, his local MP and other community members. Asked what motivates him in life, Ramesh's reply is simple but speaks volumes. Making others, smiles make me, my, uh, making others smile makes me happy, said Ramesh. Ramesh Sajestra. <laughs> and the winner in the higher education category is Jamie Emerson. And the 2020 New South Wales International Student Community Engagement Award in the Business and Community category. The finalists are Communities and Cultural Transition Project, New South Wales Service for the Treatment and Rehabilitation of Torture and Trauma Survivors. The Communities and Cultural Transition Project provides free services to assist non-funded associations and groups from newly arrived small emerging refugee communities develop governance and leadership capacity. The aim of the program is to empower independence and self-reliance while building on the existing strengths of the, those groups and organisations. Postgraduate in international students have become the lifeblood of the program, contributing more than 5,500 hours of work to communities in need and developing key skills in turn which have helped them gain employment after studies. The students gain a real understanding of of and empathy for the struggles of refugee communities. They're given responsibility to complete meaningful work and, and have a direct community impact. Testimony of this program is that three students have stayed on as employees of the organisation. So the Communities and Cultural Transition Project. And the DE International and the Medibank Wellbeing Support Service. DE International and Medibank responded rapidly to support international students during the COVID-19 pandemic. The organisations created a sense of community among international students who shifted unexpectedly to remote learning in 2020. Their focus went beyond just a single student by also providing support to students' families outside Australia. DE International and Medibank developed a four-pillared response to the impacts of the pandemic, support students with mental health needs, create a student community able to share positive experiences while practising social distancing, support those who support international students and ensure those who needed further help would receive it. Their readiness to deploy resources and expertise has had an overwhelming impact on the community and brought comfort to international students and their families. DE International and the Medibank Wellbeing Support Service. <laughs> and the University of Wollongong and Community Partners Food with Care Project. Food with Care is an exemplar of a collaborative working group consisting of, a University, of, Wollong of University of Wollongong staff, University of Wollongong, Wollongong Pulse staff, Shining Stars Foundation Street Outreach Service, Turbans for Australia, International Christian Church, Coromel and West Wollongong Rotary, Shell Harbour Community Church, the Indian Australian Cultural Association Illawarra Incorporated and Bupa, which is a, a partner. With dedication and innovation, they work together to support the University of Wollongong students based across Wollongong and Sydney in the wake of COVID-19. Food with Care has, has been a lifeline for many struggling students and community members, and it continues to provide connection as well as free grocery packages and toiletry items to people acutely impacted by the global pandemic. Originally set up as a weekly support service, the scope of support rapidly developed due to the overwhelming demand. So the University of Wollongong Community Partners Food with Care Project. <laughs> uh, 
And the winner in the business and community category is Food with Care Project. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> 2020 New South Wales International Student Community Engagement Award in the Education Providers category. And the finalists are the COVID-19 Student Welfare Plan, the Kaplan Business School. As part of its COVID-19 response, the Kaplan Business School delivered a student welfare plan to support their students and maintain academic standards throughout the pandemic. Within three weeks, Kaplan Business School delivered a support package which catered for their student cohort, 97% of which are international students. The $6 million financial support plan included tuition relief for all full-time students and a hardship fund for students who had lost their job or had their working hours reduced. Students were also supported by replacing all textbooks with free resources, hosting 196 extracurricular webinars and facilitating a 24-7 emergency support service. The plan helped students stay focused and positive while they continued their studies, knowing the school was there to support them. At the same time, the school saw their overall pass rate rise to 90% and student satisfaction with teacher quality rise to a record 4.6 out of 5 the COVID-19 Student Welfare Plan, Kaplan Business School. And the next finalist is Macquarie Student Success Support Package, Macquarie University. In response to the unprecedented impact of COVID-19, Macquarie University combined forces and resources across the university to create the Macquarie Student Success Support Package and effectively addressed, and effectively addressed the needs of the international student cohort. The package provided students with streamlined access to practical support, including vouchers and grants, relieving students from financial concerns due to the pandemic and allowing them to focus on their studies. Uh, the support uh, package combined with the university's wellbeing app to provide instant advice and referrals to students acro across a range of wellbeing issues such as stress, productivity and anxiety. More than 3,000 international students have used the app since its creation in March. By working together to provide financial, professional and social support, the university was able to positively impact the international students' experience during a very challenging time. The Macquarie Student Success Support Package. <laughs> and the fi final finalist is the UTLS Helps You Connect University of Technology, Sydney. UTS Helps developed a suite of programs to enhance the language skills of international students through regular conversation with volunteers in both conversation groups and one-on-one -on -one meetings. More than 4,500 students and 2,000 volunteers have been connected through the programs since 2014. Conversations at UTS offers free conversation group sessions to help international students. This year, more than 250 students attended sessions up to three times per week to reduce isolation, make friends and learn about living and studying in Sydney. The UTS Helps Buddy Program, which matches up to 600 students and volunteer buddies every, each year for weekly catch-ups, has highlighted the importance of connection at a time of significant social disruption. UTS Helps isn't just supporting students with language improvement, but also creates a feeling of belonging and a real sense of community. The UTS Helps You Program. And the winner in the Education Providers category is Macquarie University's Macquarie Student Suc Success Support Package. Congratulations.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, I wonder if you'd join me in congratulating all our finalists and all our winners from this afternoon. Uh, Your Excellency, Mr Wilson, ladies and gentlemen, I'll now invite Ms Jennifer West, Deputy Secretary of the New South Wales Treasury, to respond to Her Excellency's words and address us. Jennifer. I again would like to say congratulations. It's so wonderful to see all of you here and the fantastic work that you've been doing. So I do want to say on behalf of the New South Wales Government, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, you're all incredible, you're all wonderful, and you should feel incredibly humbled by this, even to be in this room. Um, it's amazing, so, you know, thank you so much. It's very, very special. Um, may I begin by thanking Her Excellency and Mr Wilson for welcoming guests here as a person of the Government House and agreeing to live stream the 2020 New South Wales International Student Awards on behalf of New South Wales Treasury. I would also like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which we meet today and pay my respects to their elders, past and present, and any First Nations peoples joining us this afternoon. I'd also extend a very warm welcome to our distinguished guests, our sponsors, and of course, the wonderful finalists of the 2020 New South Wales International Student Awards and to the families, friends and supporters of finalists who join us through an online live stream of this event, thanks to the magic of the internet. International students come to New South Wales from all over the world, rightly attracted by our world-class education offerings, enviable lifestyle and abundance of natural beauty. In fact, New South Wales attracts more international students than any other Australian state or territory. The New South Wales Government recognises the significant investment international students have made in choosing to study in our great state and is committed to making their experience in New South Wales the best that it can be through the efforts of Study New South Wales and its supporting partners. Study New South Wales, as mentioned before, is a team within the New South Wales Government dedicated to supporting the state's international students and, importantly, our international education sector. We're proud of our reputation as a multicultural community, as a safe, welcoming, studying destination. And our aim is to build this reputation by ensuring international student experience in New South Wales matches and exceeds expectations. 2020, as you've heard, has presented many challenges for us and I would really like to thank you for all your efforts during this year as well and particularly with our international student community. The New South Wales Government has responded, along with the work that you've done, by assisting thousands of international students across the state with support measures, most notably through a 20 million international student welfare package earlier this year. And we continue to provide temporary crisis accommodation, emergency food hampers, and additional free legal support. These measures complement the significant efforts that you've all undertaken, as well as our education providers, businesses, and community organisations to support international students through this difficult period, efforts we recognise today. These awards are special. They're about recognising the wonderful efforts of our international students in giving back to their adopted communities. The New South Wales International Student Awards are our way of acknowledging the enormous contributions that our international students make to our communities while studying and living in New South Wales. It's also a great opportunity to call out those community and business groups who are helping to support our international students. Congratulations to all our award finalists and thank you, Your Excellency and Mr Wilson for your hospitality and to everyone for your attendance today. Take care and have a safe and happy end to 2020. Thank you. Your Excellency, Mr Wilson, ladies and gentlemen, well, shortly I'll invite uh, our finalists and uh, uh, winners to have a photo on the arcade with Her Excellency. I'll also be inviting you all to enjoy Her Excellency and Mr Wilson's hospitality with the refreshments on the arcade. And I have to say that uh, Her Excellency has ordered this afternoon the most spectacular weather to enjoy a view of uh, Sydney Harbour. 
Uh, for your, particularly if this is your first visit to Government House, don't feel that you are confined to this uh, space where you, you're most welcome to explore the public rooms of the house, the ballroom, the drawing room beyond, and even you'll see the state dining room is uh, set for a dinner uh, for uh, tomorrow night. And, uh, and there are guides around who'll be able to tell you about some of the features of the house, particularly our quite remarkable collection of art, particularly our portraits of every governor of New South Wales since uh, the first governor, 1788. For those from other st states listening, of course, we have more governors than uh, everyone else because we're the original state. Uh, that's a double achievement as far as I'm concerned. For those watching online, can I commend you? You won't be able to join us for looking around the house, but you can online. Go to www.governor.newsouthwales, our website, where you'll find a, a very interesting virtual tour. So, ladies and gentlemen, could I invite you all to stand as Her Excellency Mr. Wilson depart, and then after that, if the winners, I'll organise the winners and the finalists for a photo with Her Excellency. Ma'am. is now. 